Greetings, friends, and welcome to my armature construction kit build. Right off the bat, you will find all of these pieces for the next 30 days free on my store. After that, there'll be a small fee uh, to purchase them. But anyways, we'll get right into it. Off the top, I needed an armature because I was working on my gimbal for my animatronic system, and I realized that I don't want to have to tell people to keep on getting wood and when you start getting to rotation and the such, I wanted to have a system where I could literally give measurements and have it so easy accessible things like this pipe. And the pieces are all 3D printable. So you're able to literally use your imagination to your heart's content to build whatever you want. Now, all joints are not created the same and they all have to do different things. So I spent a ton of time going through and designing joints that would replicate a human body. But I also needed it to be strong. So you can see here, I've dry brushed these. You can see how the 3D print has got an indexed base on it. And what that does is it allows that inner circle here to go through to here. And then you can click those together. And what happens is they index beautifully with each other. Look at that, I'm not even on the index, there we go. When it indexes, all those teeth match each other and you end up with a ridiculously strong joint. But it needs to be a bit more than that because of the nature of all the joints in the human body. And then what'll happen is, just before I forget, all of these are held together with quarter inch bolts. Uh, this is a quarter inch by, I'll put all the measurements in the description regardless, you'll find links down there. Now. Each different joint has a different purpose. Like this one here is once again, the exact same thing. When they're done, they do take a bit to wiggle apart because all the tolerance is really, really tight on these because I don't want them to be moving too much because that's when you run into breakage. So this is a 180 degree knee joint, specifically a knee joint because it's built in such a way that it allows for that type of movement. Now, will you always be using it on a knee? No, not necessarily. You'll be able to use it on whatever you want. But you can see that it's held together with a quarter inch bolt and um, a wing nut on the other side to catch it all together. So when they're together, they're tough as nails. Now this here is non-metallic uh, plastic conduit. You can get this at almost any hardware store. And this is the three quarter inch, which is measured as the internal diameter. The outside diameter is one inch and it perfectly mates with all of my fittings. So when you're going to be building anything, you're gonna be looking for this conduit. It's decently cheap, uh, at least in Canada. It's about $10 for a 10 foot length. So you're looking about a dollar a foot, which isn't very much at all. Now. This is the knee joint, as I said. Now this one here, this is a shoulder joint because shoulder joints need to have multiple points of movement. It allows you to move the arm in and out and then you can relock it again. And then here you can pull this out and then this allows you to move the shoulder after it's all together. So if you need to reposition an arm, you're not dealing with glue or anything like that. You'll take this up, you'll spin this to where you need it. You'll lock those teeth on the gear and you'll tighten it. And this one uses a slightly longer screw, or so sorry, a slightly longer bolt, because this one goes right through from the inside, so you always have access to that wing nut so you can readjust easy. That's your, and it's not necessarily just a shoulder joint. It can be what you're, if you wanna build an animal or anything, this is all the joints that you need to pretty much build exactly what you're looking for. Now, the one other thing which I must mention is you'll see here, there's a, there, all the files will have this hole. And what that does is it allows you to use an M4 bolt right here to screw into place here. So once you've got everything where you need it, you just take a quarter inch drill with a quarter inch bit not a quarter inch drill, a quarter inch bit. Drill through and that allows you to use an Allen wrench to screw those into place. 
what it does is it stops that coming out. It just locks it up without gluing because everything can be disassembled and reused with this. There's no glue involved, so you're never kind of going through and, you know, deciding and never be able to move it again if you want to reposition. Once again, you can see there's that bolt hole. Every single piece has those bolt holes designed into it, except for this one because this is an actual prototype before I added all the bolt holes. But it will have it on the final regardless. And this one here is also a prototype. It doesn't have the bolt holes. Regardless, they all will have the bolt hole on the final print. What I do with these ones, I just actually been drilling the hole in because it came in as a later point on the design. Now, what I'm going to just quickly go over is, you know, these joints are strong. They're not invincible. You're dealing with a lot of torque and uh, weight over time, so you'll still be wanting to use uh, smaller stuff, and you might find that the weight is too much, and you might have to support, like, usually if it's trying to stand up, it's built to be uh, locked down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put this stuff back onto my armature that I've already built, and you'll see exactly how everything works out. And here is our complete armature, all ready to go. Now, you can see how each different design is used in different spots to make it work. How the torso is actually done with a V, so when I build arm uh, animatronics, they can sit in the center here and I can build everything else around it. And you can see how each different joint has a different purpose. Now, but speaking of which, this is a through joint. And the reason I'm doing this one here is because I like the ability for this arm to swing more vertical. With the knee joint here, I can only go 180 degrees backwards, which didn't make a lot of sense here. The only issue here is when this is pointing straight down, you have kind of like a jag in the arm, of which my daughter pointed out to me and laughed relentlessly, and I told her I couldn't do anything about it. If it's that important to you, use a knee joint. Now, up here, shoulder joint. I've got two designs, left and the right. I'm going to include both of them, but in reality, one goes for both. It just matters how you get to the wing nut to readjust the arms and everything like that. Anyways, this here, you can see how I've got the Allen bolt in to get this thing all locked up, same with the neck. This is the neck joint. Once you've got this to where you need it, you drill through, goodbye sword, uh, you drill through and you lock this down exactly where you need it. And if at a later point you need to do different, pull out the bolt, realign, put in a new, new one, done. Everything is still adjustable. All you do is put a few extra holes in the pipe. Same thing over here, all the way down to here where it's two through joints to make the hip and then two shoulder joints to come out and set the whole thing up. I'll include all the measurements I use here. This is like a six foot, probably a six foot four armature. And as you can see coming down here, the knees are bent. Why are the knees bent? Because it allowed me to start loading up the actual armature with weight. And with the knees bent, it strengthens the whole thing up, just like a human body. You'll be able to pose these exactly where you want them, exactly how you want to see. And down here on the foot, you'll see that it goes just on the through. But I put an extra bolt right through because there's a lot of torque on this. This should be screwed down to a board to give the whole thing stability. Regardless, that is the armature system. You'll be seeing it more in the future because I'll be using it to build stuff. Now that I have the skeleton, literally and figuratively, I'm good to go. Regardless, thanks for hanging out. I hope you all enjoy this. Please remember to like, subscribe, yodel from rooftops, all that fun stuff. And I've got more in the pike now that the weather's starting to get a bit nicer outside. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one all.